Hi everybody, Danny Tabika here. We're uh, going to take you through uh, a no-gi trick that I really like to use uh, from when we're riding turtle or we're trying to get that knee in, and then kind of a cute way to uh, get that arm isolated and trapped so we can move to the crucifix. If you like the video, you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and way you won't miss anything. All right. So either we've taken down our partner, or we tried to pass the guard and they turtled up. Really common, especially in no-gi when you don't have the, the gi to grab onto. I want to get my knee in between here, but that can be really tough when her elbow and her knee are real close to each other. So one trick that I like to use is to put my hand kind of on the back of their head for a second, and I'm going to pop up, and I'm going to drive my knee down into this hole, this space that's being made. Let me turn forward so they can see. No matter how tightly she go ahead and tighten a tight, tight ball, no matter how tightly she turtles up here, there's always a space here. So I'm going to start putting my knee in that space, but instead of driving straight down where I'm going to run into her knee, I'm going to turn my leg so that my knee kind of points towards her hip. Here, and then I turn and put that knee in. As soon as my knee touches the ground, I wing out a little bit. I come here. I like to go spiral ride, fist on the ground inside the thigh on that side, or find and capture that far wrist and double up. Once I'm here, I'm going to try to capture this arm. There are a couple of ways we can capture this arm. Uh, one way we shouldn't overlook is sometimes people just do it for you. If I put my leg out here, sometimes people will grab it. That's fantastic. I'm just going to use my ankle to scrape, pinch my knees together here. But can't always be counted on to do that. Sometimes I'll reach out and I'll grab this wrist and peel out this way. To me, it can be really strong if I'm trying to pull out this way, but people are a lot weaker here. Put that in, capture that arm. But one way that I've been doing a lot recently that I really like is to just use this knee to kind of windshield wiper this out, hook, drag it back. Once I've got that arm captured, we can do a lot of different things, including just going in for our choke here. But I like to roll over the top. I'm going to hold on to this with my leg, roll over my shoulder while holding on to the arm. We end up right here. One of the easiest finishes from here, and one that I'm a big fan of, is to pass off this grip. And I'm going to apply this choke here. I'm just going to use my fingertips to sort of reach for their shoulder. Once I've got it, I push my shoulder into the back of their head, and I pull this arm in. You get a cute little choke. So one more time here. I'm going to hold, push this knee in, and wing it back. You can grab here, or you can go seat belt. It's totally fine. Once I get here, I can use my knee to push this out. Now there's a little space here. I step on my own knee to capture that. Now I've got it. Now if I want to roll, I can roll. If I want to play here, I can play here. Or we can start going for guillotines and such off of this grip as well. All right. Really super powerful position. If you want to see somebody way better than me do that, you can check out any of Barrett Yoshida's competition footage. He does that stuff all day long and it works really, really well for him. Um, I've been Danny. She's been Tamiga. We'll see you later. When we're not. When we're someone else.